Welcome back. We covered all the important things when it comes to anonymity on the internet. We covered Tor browser, the anonymous browser and the browser that allows us to visit deep web. We covered how we can use proxies with different tools. And we also saw how we can install VPN inside of our Kali Linux and use that as well to hide our location and IP address. But we as hackers also want to discover any new tools that might help us automate this process so we don't have to bother doing all of these installations anymore. Perhaps tools like this already exist. Now, there is one tool on GitHub that we can check out, which is called who am I? And we can just type GitHub. Now, besides this tool, of course, there are other tools as well. This is not the only tool that you can use for anonymity. You can use whichever tool you wish. We can click on this first link right here. And this is the tool that we want. As we can see, this tool is actually in the development, so it's not fully ready. So some options might not work. And we already know that since with a lot of tools on GitHub, some options might not work or they may be broken or they're currently waiting for an update. Here you can read about the project. The purpose of the Who Am I tool makes you as anonymous as possible on Kali Linux. It is an user-friendly with its ease of use and simple interface. It follows two different paths to ensure the highest possible level of anonymity. Finally, don't forget that there is never 100% security on the internet, which is 100% true. Down here, we can take a look at different features. So we have anti man in the middle feature, log killer, IP changer, DNS changer, and many others as well. So let's take a look at this tool. We want to go to the part where it says getting started and the installation. And here are some of the dependencies that we might need. So let's copy the command and install it real quick. And let's also delete this. Press enter. It will ask us for the password since this is a sudo command. And the first thing that it will perform is sudo apt update. And right after that, it will install some of the additional tools and libraries that it needs in order to run this tool. So let's wait for a couple seconds for this to finish. Okay, here it is. The command has finally finished. And now let's proceed to actually install the tool. Here are the steps. First, we git clone the repository. Let me just clear the screen, paste the command, and let's git clone this tool. Once that's done, we want to navigate to the tool directory, which is right here, Kali dash who am I. And here we want to run sudo make install. Copy that command as well. Go right here and paste it into the terminal. It will finish relatively fast and right now our tool should be ready to run. Let's type ls to see what files we have right here. And to actually use the tool, here we can take a look at the help menu. After completing setup, run the application by typing Kali, who am I, in the search menu or by typing sudo kali who am I dash dash help in a terminal. So let's try like that. Apparently this requires sudo privileges. So let's type it like this, sudo kali dash who am I, and then dash dash help. Okay, so here are our options. We can either start it, stop, check the status, fix, and run this help menu again. We want to start the tool. Once the tool has been started, it will open something like a console for the tool and it will list out all of these options right here. So we're not going to be checking all of this, but let's check some of them just for the purposes of the tutorial. Let's go, for example, with the most obvious one, which is the IP changer. If I type option number three, it says IP changer was checked and 
if I type enter once again, it will say IP changer successfully enabled. Now, let's see if that option works. If I go and type what is my IP, it is loading for quite some time, which could mean that we are filtering traffic to a proxy. And I would say that's true because it says our systems have detected unusual traffic from your computer. This page checks to see if it's really you sending the requests. We get the IP address. And sometimes this can happen if you're using tools like this. So let's perform the check. And let's verify. And here we get the IP address. Let's see where the IP address is located. And it seems to be giving the wrong IP. Let's just check for the page to load. This is the same page that we used once using Tor browser, if I'm not mistaken. And it has the IP from that time saved right here for some unknown reason to me. So let's actually take a look at a different website. For example, let's go with this one. And we got a different IP, which is good. It says that I'm currently in United States in Texas, which is completely wrong. I'm nowhere near there. And this option works. Awesome. Let's take a look at another option, perhaps. We run the same command. We can perhaps try to run, let's say, browser anonymization. We checked that option and browser anonymization successfully enabled. Now, I personally don't know what this option will do inside of this tool. Perhaps it will say somewhere on the page. It probably has explanation as to what each of these options do, but we are not going to be reading through that right now. Let's see whether we can check something else again. Let's try time zone changer, for example, press enter. And it will say time zone changer successfully enabled, but once again, we can't really check that since it doesn't give us any output back. And all the other options, feel free to take a look at them. You can also use Mac changer, DNS changer, we can run the anti man in the middle option and all the other things that this tool offers. Now, once again, this is just one of the tool in the sea of bunch of other tools that you can take a look at, whether it being a tool for anonymity, privacy or something else. But always make sure that you're downloading the tool from a trusted source like GitHub. You don't want to be running a tool that you downloaded from some fishy website, right? Now, that would be about it. We covered introductory steps to anonymity. And right now that you know how to use all of the things that we covered, you can use them in combination to increase your anonymity to a whole another level. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.